everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, let's go through some of the expected features in Odo 50. So for that, first let me open sales module. And here you can see option to manage your products. So over, you can see a new option, new feature to add products to favorites list. So you can just click on the start and add product to favorites. And you can see this option inside the form view, list view. And when you add, when you mark it as favorite, a product as favorite, you can uh, see a filtering option to view all the products in favorites list. So it's so easy. Then inside the product form view, you have an option to convert product to gift card by enabling this option. So you can see a checkbox. So just enable that uh, so that you can convert the product to gift card when it is purchased. So you can save this. So you have a new option inside the website that is we have, we can configure e-commerce gift cards. So here you can configure e-commerce gift cards. Can create new gift cards. Then when you're creating new attribute, you have, you can see uh, here we have our product attributes. So inside the attribute form, you can see a new option to set a category for your attribute. That is, you can categorize attributes and we have a new display type that is fields. Then comes the new updation made to unit of measure. That is, now we cannot find a new menu unit of measure, but we have a unit of measure category inside which you can see all the unit of measures. Uh, so uh, from this list view, you can see the units of measures under this category. And when you open the measure category, you can see uh, here we can add the unit of measures by just clicking on the add line. Uh, so you can add units of measure to this category. So it's so easy, uh, easy to create units of measures and categories. And it's easy to find out the measures. Okay, then uh, we have a new reporting menu uh, that is you can find this for sales purchase. So that is we can uh, view the dashboard of sales analysis or purchase analysis in a quick way. So when you click on this dashboard, you can get the dashboard uh, view of the reporting. You can also find this inside your purchase module. Here you can see the dashboard view for your purchase analysis. Okay, then inside your product categories, we have a new option that is we can reserve packagings for product categories. So when you open a package, uh, open a category, you can see that option to reserve uh, only full packagings or reserve partial packagings. So before, uh, if you want to view this option, you have to enable product packagings from your configuration settings. Okay. Then when you go to inventory module, so from overview, you can see all your operation types. So here we're going to delivery order configuration or manufacturing uh, or purchase POIs orders configuration. You can see here option, that is reserve method, that is we can reserve, that is how products and transfers of this operation type should be reserved is decided. It can be done at confirmation manually or before schedule date. Then in inventory, we have a new menu that is we can configure storage categories. So first of all, we have to enable locations and then storage categories from configuration settings. So this storage categories is used for categorizing storage locations. Uh, 
And you can also set this category for your put away rules. So we can set package or product capacity. So from here, you can set the storage category when creating put away rules. Okay, then from your roots, that is, you know, creating root. You can apply this roots on packages. So you can see that new option where we can, when you check this option, the root will be selectable on the product packaging. Okay, so here you can see that root option added. So when you're adding packaging for your product, you can set root for that packaging. So we can track the package. So let's see. Mm. That is, we can set the root of the package. Then, when you're opening packages, You can see an option that is for package use. That is, uh, there are two options. One is disposable package and then reusable package. That is disposable and reusable box. So reusable is used for batch picking and emptied afterwards to be reused. And so disposable boxes, it is not reused. That is when scanning a disposable box in the barcode application, the contained products are added to transfer. So there are different purpose with by using this package, different type of package use. Okay. Then when you go to website, Okay, so from your e-commerce shop, that is when you go to website and e-commerce shop. So here you can see all the products available in your shop. And when you choose a product, okay. So here you can see a new share button added. That is when you cl click on the customize of this product page. Here you can see share button, which is by default enabled in Udo, which is used for sharing uh, through different social media. You can see here Facebook, Twitter, different uh, medias are available. Now let's check the point of sale module. Where you can find new more options are added. That is, when you go to settings of a point of sale, okay, so here you can see, now we can add, that is, give coupons and promotions to customers. So we can define coupons and promotion programs in point of sale. So here we can add, create and add promotion programs or coupon programs, which can be viewed from your point of sale interface and you can apply them. Okay, and along with this coupon programs, you can also see new feature added under bills and receipts. That is, we have an option to sell products and deliver them later. That is, that is ship later option, where we can provide the warehouse, then specific route and shipping policy. 
okay and then under connected devices here now you can see a new option that is separately added to show check out to customers through a second display so we have we can connect devices to point of sale and after that you can make use of this option so now save this point of sale from here Okay, so here you can see that menu to configure the promotion programs, create promotion programs or coupon programs. And when you start a new session, uh, okay. Okay, so from this interface, we can add products. Then here we can see option to add promotion or coupon code. And when you click OK, it will be applied to the order. And we can also reset programs from here. OK. So you can see here. The ship later option is shown from here. Then from customer relationship model, sorry, customer relationship management. When you go to configuration settings, you can see an option to assign salesperson to multiple sales team. So here you can see multi teams, which can be enabled from the settings. So that we can assign salesperson to multiple sales teams. And then here we have rule based assignment that is to periodically assign leads based on rules. Okay, then now when you open project module and when you go to project configuration. Okay, so here you can see a new chart that is burn down chart is added. For your project. And then when you open notes so here you can see the project and when you type this forward slash you can see some comments that is here we have we can see some basic blocks for uh, providing headings you can see for different headings different styling options are there that is for heading one heading two heading three and for normal text that is paragraph block then we can add bulleted list so it is so easy just type this forward slash so we can see the options so we have discussed about some of the 
So we have gone through few expected features in order 15 and we'll be discussing in detail about each feature in a separate video. And there are a lot more features coming in 15. So we'll be doing uh, different videos on that. So that's all this video and thanks for watching. Thank you.